Hey everybody, how's it going today? In this short video, I want to show you guys how to set up um, alerts on your TradingView account, and it depends off of, let's say, a specific indicator you want to set up. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain, let's say, the I'm going to use the MACD because it's a pretty popular uh, indicator. And I'm going to go ahead off of, um, since I do a lot of commodity spreads, I'm going to set up all my alerts on my commodity spreads. I already have alerts set up on some Forex pairs and some... Uh, some micro indices and stuff that I'm watching <clears throat> on a different level. This is on our spread level. So I have six um, commodities. Now you're going to go up here to this alarm thing, and you have to make sure you do it off of the time frame that you are uh, wanting to set that alert from. So if I want, I want this um, MACD signal, for example. Now this is also assuming that your signal has an alert built in. I got this MACD from a one of the um, public libraries from one of the guys I usually get stuff from. And that way it has an alert attached. I could build an alert on this when it does a certain thing. So in this case, I'm going to pick something simple. So it's pretty transparent and understandable to most people. And um, I'm looking at higher time frames like four hours because I do crude. I do uh, spreads on crude oil and at gas and like six other popular commodities. Um, mostly pertains to my business as well at Forte Trader. So I'm, I'm going to focus on that. So I'm going to click on this alarm button. And this is assuming you have the features set up on your trading view. If you have trading view, the uh, basic, the pro, you can do up to 10 alerts. You could do up to 30 with pro plus. I don't know about premium. And so um, what you want to just do is let's say make sure you're on the time frame of where you want the alert if you accidentally put the alert for let's say um uh, for this macd stochastic this oscillator to go off um your intention was off the 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 four hour and you accidentally did it off this five minute when you hit this alarm see it's gonna say um well normally it would put the time frame here somewhere i don't see it but it would do it off of that so make sure that oh once you select the the deal, well, ah, there it is, off five. It does it off, off the time you're on. So you want to make sure, let's say, I want it, this, this thing to go off of my four-hour time frames. Okay, click that. I'm going to pick, because I have a dynamic support resistance indicator on here that also has alerts, this is coming up in the option. I'm not going to pick the indicator, uh, the the instrument you want to pick the indicator and i want the macd when it crosses the macd signal the macd signal to alert me once the bar closes i've done this thing when this thing closes um when you put it like only one per minute or only one it'll it'll keep giving you false signals and it'll annoy the heck out of you especially if you got more than one signal and then um i pull mine all the way just to the end of each month doesn't matter what date it is. I'll get back to it at the end of the month and reset everything. And then notify me on the app. Show a pop-up on the screen here. And I don't have it send me an email. Because usually I'm pretty active. And then I'll just kind of give it a little bit of a shorter name. So MACD, Signal, Crude Oil, and off the 240 minute. This way when it goes off, um, also on my phone, this is the app. So if you have it downloaded on your phone... It just gives me this nice short signal and I know, okay, my four hour chart on crude oil just went off. Now, because this is a crossover, I'm telling you to tell me each time the MACD crosses the signal, I don't have to do this twice. I don't have to say reverse it and say, okay, now I need the signal to alert me when it goes the other way. No, anytime the MACD goes over this signal, anytime it touches, but the candle has to close because they have candles here that'll whip around and this thing will move, move, move. So I have it on, on only once per bar close to the end of the month let me know just like that so now i'm going to go and i'm going to do it to the rest of my uh, commodities my nat gas that looks like a cleaner chart because nat gas hasn't had as much drama as crude oil has lately you see every time this macd crosses over i want it to let me know anytime it crosses over and the candle closes i want to take a look at it now, i'm not talking about strategies here today it has nothing to do with strategies just want to show you guys how to set alerts everybody out there is, has different trading strategies different trading signals different trading ideas different trading psychology so once per bar close again i want the macd to when it crosses the macd signal on the bar close just to the end of the month to uh notify me and then i don't want all this mess 
on my alert. I just want it nice and clean. MACD signal. Um, NAT gas, NG. 240 minute. In this way, I get an alert there. I don't have to babysit everything and... Um, It alerts me like an assistant that I don't have to pay for, you know, like it's my runner. Um, this is Euro dollar, same deal. I'm just gonna finish this list up, guys, real quick. MACD, when it crosses over the MACD's signal, and by default it goes there. Had I picked signal, because the person that wrote this indicator, it'll reverse there. It's only two things it can cross over. It can cross over the MACD or the signal. So the guy was pretty smart in the way he wrote this. He wasn't gonna let it, you know, give you, you be a uh, unworkable code so when the macd crosses over the signal once the bar closes up until the end of the month just go ahead and let me know trading uh trading view my assistant that the macd signal on a euro dollar 240 minute has at least touched right or crossed to a, to a spec it gives me it gets me out of my seat and it makes me look at it. I'm gonna do the real quick of the last few, and these are grains. This is corn. When the MACD crosses, and I'm just doing this so you guys can, hopefully this will help you guys out out there. Crosses, so that way you know, you live your life, man. Live your life. MACD signal, ZC corn on the 240 minute. Did I know? you know something to get up and look at and i'm gonna do an analysis video following this one there's some pretty interesting things going on in the commodities markets zw same deal this is chicago wheat and i tend to trade just so you guys know these are my spread trades i do i take these commodities and i do spread trades on them and the reason i picked these they have a lot of volume in these uh particular ones that i've picked it doesn't mean it makes you a ton of money right away and make sends you to the Ferrari dealership, but um, it also doesn't send you to the bankruptcy. D signal, ZW, two hundred forty minute, boom. Last but not least, um, soybean alert when the MACD crosses. The MACD signal line alert me once up into the end of the month. Hopefully after six times in a row here, this guy this can help you guys out. MACD signal, I want it to let me know that the ZS just crossed over on the 240 minute. That's it. <laughs> Create. It's done. Now it's all in my alerts. So I have my commodity four hour alerts. I have some five minute alerts for my daily Forex stuff and a couple of... um micro industry stuff that i'm working on with the buddy anyways um and with that said um well we were up about 70 bucks i'm paper testing a signal here on a micro industry and it was doing really it's doing really well so um, it alerted me I, I took the trade based on the way i look at my levels real simple and um anyways with this along with this i would go and build a spread chart and look at the spread and then i'd go into my uh Going here into my um, TradeStation Futures Plus account, which is powered by Trading Technologies, to put on my my actual spreads. If I'm going to trade something directly, then I can trade it directly off of my trading view, depending on if it's Forex or a direct uh, TradeStation. So that's another thing that I do. So, anyways, just wanted to show you guys how to use these alerts and save these uh, alerts on your um and get the most out of your platform you're paying the money for it so use the services that are attached on your platform anyways have a good day everybody